Welcome to Make History Podcast. This is your boy, Sean V, here with Faith House. Go ahead, sister. Where we want you to come as you are, connect authentically, grow spiritually, and move forward. Let's go. What's up, what's up? This is your boy, Sean B. This is Make History Podcast. We are back once again with Faith House. This is not the full crew yet, but just letting you know, this is the half crew right now, but you can see us on Facebook as well as we are growing. This is Faith House. I'm introduce you to Rachel Davis. Hey. We have Dr. Ivan Edwards here in the building. Hmm. How are we doing, guys? Woo. We're doing terrific. <laughs> Happy Friday. We made it here. So this is Faith House Fridays. Now, uh, people out there that don't know what Faith House is yet, you will get to know Faith House soon. And uh, everything that we're doing as far as like programming, um, different shows, different uh, aspects of learning, characteristics of books, uh, just there's so many things with Faith House that we are bringing to the table and community as well. Mm -hmm. Outreaches, uh, different aspects of our different professions and worlds and we're here to talk about them today. So, you know me, Sean B, I've been out there uh, with with make history podcast just bringing all the people to the table just trying to say hey we are going to uh take things another notch just to another level mm -hmm. and uh i'm here with the with my favorite people in the world these guys are uh so oh. much they mean so much to me more than 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 i i'd even knew and there are are just just they brought into my life in a, in a god-given manner because they have, they, they've, uh, let me say this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking a lot because I overthink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and that's just me. But uh, overall, you guys mean so much to me because you bring a lot to the table in my life and mm -hmm. in a way where I didn't think that I would have uh, to thought about within myself. Personally, mm -hmm. uh, you guys hear me. Um, and, uh, and, and, and also business-wise and, and I don't want to, uh, you know, kind of be too sappy here, but, yeah. but at the same time, you guys know, uh, <laughs> I love you guys, Rachel Davis, Dr. Ivan, uh, Dr. Edwards, um, you mean the, the world to me. Uh, and, and also too, I also want to bridge this to, to make history to my kids, of, of course, mm -hmm. and I want them to be able to see that, hey, we're doing things in the community, we're doing things through faith, we're doing things uh, in a professional way, and also we're trying to make things happen where we are making history within ourselves. And just to <clears throat> just to piggyback off of that right now, I want to be able to uh, have you guys share with you guys do. Um, mm -hmm. I know what you do, but I want to be able to let you guys speak on your own behalf, on your own professions. Mm -hmm. So we can start off with Miss Rachel Davis. Hi, okay. Well, um, I am a child of God saved by grace. And um, that's the biggest part about me and who I am, and I am wife to Philip Davis, my uh, wonderful husband, and I'm mom to Finley, Declan, and Fisher, my three Ooh. sons, yes. and they are just so amazing and so fun and so humbling. <laughs> they humble me every day, um, but um, and professionally, I have been in healthcare for years. I was a respiratory therapist. I worked in home health and hospice. I worked with patients and then on the business side of things. And so I've just seen a lot of aspects of healthcare. Currently, I am a professional health coach. So what I do is I partner with people and I, I listen to them and I help them get where, from where they are to where they wanna be in their health and in their life. And, and so that has given me just a totally solid belief that anybody can do anything in their life if they, um, if they have the desire and if they have the faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think, um, so it's just brought me to a place where professionally, I love to just continue to help people become more aware, have more hope, and have just the continued um, reminder that they are qualified, no matter what has happened in the past. Awesome, awesome. Amen to that. Mm. Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Ivan Edwards. I, um, I w I'm an ordained minister. I was ordained many years ago. I've been in ministry for a while. And uh, after that, I became a medical doctor. I'm a medical doctor practicing here in the city, beautiful city of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I also serve uh, uh, in uniform. I'm a lieutenant colonel in the United States Air Force Reserve, and uh, I love it. I'm a flight surgeon, and my purpose in life is to be a, to articulate what God has for His people and what God has for all people everywhere, and that is to uh, proclaim what we need to do in order to live productive lives and to live lives that please Him. So, I'm a dad. My kids are grown out of the house. Uh, I promised my kids, they told me when I started doing public events, Dad, keep us out of your public life. We are mm -hmm. private individuals. <laughs> so, don't mention our names. I, I, I will keep that promise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, But they're grown, and I'm, a, uh, I'm happy and fulfilled and ready to go on to the next level of service in my life. That's Thank awesome. you so much yes. for having me come here. And we also have Willie Barco. Or Baycoat. Baycoat. I'm going to say, I want to say Barco. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Willie. My bad, man. <laughs> uh, I know you're going to be watching this. So um, he's in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, he's a part of the crew as well. And uh, he's a very, very, very um, brilliant man. Um, he brings so much to the table uh, as far as like Faith House and, and in his personal ways too. He's a very soft-spoken guy and uh i wish that he could be here but i know uh he's so far but hey you know he's here in spirit for sure um and i can't wait to be able to get him on platform man it's, it's pretty exciting to have him there um and i think you guys can concur um, so this is faith house talks and so yeah. we are going to talk about uh, the way of the world, how we're seeing it, how we focus, uh, this visualizing what we see and how we focus, this, how we focus into so many things that are going on in the world right now that uh, I feel like sometimes that we're not really, um, we're so thinking out the box of everything, whether if it's political or if it's going well on with our health, you know, and we're not really looking at it in a, in a way where it's like, how can we be able to be helpers of the world? We're bringing so much things of the world that is so violent, or there's there's a uh, um, there's violence happening. There's 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 a uh, man. I'm going into a brain. <laughs> so, so yeah, distract, distractions. There we go. Yeah. So distractions. There's violence. There's distractions. There's elections. There's lies. There's fake news and all this other stuff that's happening right now. And we're trying to get back to the principles, which is has always been to me, and this is the way I feel, and this is my opinion, has always been about faith and, uh, and somewhere yeah. where there's a solid foundation. The foundation has been lost. Now, this is Faith House Talks. Mm -hmm. Now, we, going got, we have to get 100% real with what we're talking about because in this sense, it's like this is what we are bringing to the world. We need to have some type of foundation. And we're not looking at the world in a way where we're found trying to find a foundation of where we can root from, then we're going to just let anything and everything take over our thoughts, minds, and the way we pursue things. That's what we're seeing. And that's what we're seeing. So I, I want to give you guys a platform to be able to speak about the, the way you see the world in your professions and how you see it. I will let you try. I guess you can try first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I see, like I said in my intro, I just truly believe that uh, if a person can awaken and take personal responsibility, I mean, we all have a story. We go through this life uh, unaware. Things are happening in our childhood. Things are happening to us. We're surviving all of that. At some point, we are awakened, you know, ho hopefully something happens in our life. Sometimes it takes several big things that are painful whatever it may be. And we, we have to make choices about, am I going to move forward in a different way? It totally requires faith <laughs> or we get stuck in fear. Mm. So as I just, I just love people. I mean, whether I was waitressing, like I did in college, I just was always like, you know, taking care of people, talking to people, serving people, you know, um, wanted to get great tips. So I started to tell jokes and I could right. see that made people come alive. I like to entertain them. You know, I mean, everybody has a spirit in them. Everybody has, you know, the great parts about them and the harder, darker parts about them. And so I think, you know, it's just we look around now and we see a lot of people who are not taking personal responsibility for their life 
and for their future they're kind of stuck you know in victim or in fear and that's not a down thing to say to, i'm not blaming anybody or saying that because i just say that because you see they could be so much more right. you know right. if they made a choice if they got into healthy community, if they received grace, you know, if they picked up all of their faith and just decided like every day, I'm going to get a little bit better. I'm going to be a little healthier. Um, I mean, and that's in all aspects. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, I could tell mm -hmm. you my story, but you have yours. Yeah. Everybody has their own story, but, but, oh man, it's faith over fear. Mm. And it's, you know, our past is in our head. Our future is in our hands. And I think the world is so dang noisy that it, there's so much opinion. There's so many options. There's so many different things that we can go to for fulfillment mm. or for peace. And really, it's just about renewing our mind, you know, receiving that grace and that salvation and, and just knowing my life is for a purpose. Whatever I've been through it doesn't matter nearly as much as what I'm going to do. And my story was created to serve. Your story was created to serve. God does great things with our pain. So there is sin happening all around us. We are a victim of sin. Every single one of us are sinners. We've hurt other people with our sin. So it's not about, let's talk about all that. It's about what are we gonna do with it? How are we gonna use our story to serve others? How are we gonna heal, you know? We need yeah. faith. We need hope. We need Amen. to know that we have a future in order to invest in our healing. And to me, health, the first four letters of health is heal. H-E-A-L. Uh -oh. We all have to heal. Like if you just think that you don't have nothing to heal from, and mm -hmm. then there's that word help. H-E-L-P. <laughs> Not yeah. exactly the same letters, right. but it's all those letters are in that word, you know, other than P. But anyway, I'm trying to create a little theme <laughs> off the fly, but it's not. I'll have to, I'll have to polish that up. <laughs> but um, we all need help. And that's where community comes in. I mean, and that's where Faith House comes in. Like find a place to go sit at the table with other people that are really working on themselves and want to be healthy. And we're not perfect. We're not going for perfection. We're going for growth. We're going in the right direction, not perfection. I think tons of people also are stuck mm -hmm. in perfection yeah. and it stalls them from growing and healing and doing, you know, the things so they can really rewrite their story and move forward. Go, Doctor E. That's enough. <laughs> wow, that's that's great. That's great. I, I you know, I, I like to start with, as you were chatting, I real I realized there's a story in the Bible that's very amazing. Jesus walks to a pond, with surrounded by a lot of people who are waiting for an angel to come in and stir mm. the water, so that whoever jumps in first gets healed. Mm. And so. That's what's happening in this world today. Mm. We, uh, it's like a pond. Imagine that pond that Jesus went to. A pool. A lot of people were sick. A lot of people were, were broken. Mm -hmm. And he, he singles out one person. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening today. With the, the pool we is surrounded by a lot of people who are hurting. As you said, fake yeah. news, this, that, da, da, da. too much noise. Right. Too much noise goes to one single person. Asks him a simple question. Mm. Do you want to be made whole? Simple question. And what does the man do? He, he goes on it. a rant. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been here for, th first of all, I've been here for so long. Let me tell you my story. <laughs> Let me tell you my story. Right. I've been here for so long. And when the angel comes in and stirs that pole, Somebody, I have nobody to take, they jump in before me. That was not the question I answered. I, I asked you a simple question. Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be made whole? Hmm. Amidst all the noise, amidst everything, and the excuses as you talked about. Mm -hmm. Will this, will that. Well, I've been here for 38 years. I didn't ask you how long you've been in this situation. Well, you don't know that. I didn't ask you that. What's stopping you from getting healed? Do you want to be made whole? Simple and clear. Yes or no? Yeah. So when we're surrounded by so much noise, we have to get into position. Do I want to be made whole? What is it? There's so much noise. Let me, let's cut out the noise. Do I want to be made whole? 
just between God and I, do I want to be made whole? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, well, he didn't have the he, he didn't answer the question. What did Jesus? T he said, "Well, rise up, take up your mat, and walk forward. Go three things: yeah. rise, take up the mat, and walk." So, uh, I use that to challenge people who have a lot of excuses and who are listening to a lot of noise. Get in solitude with, with your maker, and mm. he wants you out of that condition. Yeah. And he singled you out because he says, do you want to be, do you want to, do you really want to? It's personal. It's personal. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I didn't, do you, are you doing it? To, no, no. Do you, you, me, you, do I really want to? And that's the question we have to answer. We answer it not because I want, I'm answering because I want to please Miss Davis, because I want to please you, I want to please whoever's listening to me. I'm doing it in, this, in my companionship with God. Do I really want to? Do you really want to be made whole? Or you want to live with this for the rest of your life? God, I want to be made whole. Okay then simple rise up we got to rise up we cannot let the things drown the desire for us to be made whole okay. we have to rise up the people who are down and depressed and beaten guys tells you rise up rise up for those of you who are listening rise up rise up beyond defeat rise up be, be in the noise there's a lot of noise between going going in between be between people's ears. Right. There's a we. I used to call it a tape. What do they call it today? Well, they don't call it a tape. Yeah. I told the, narr my, the narrative. A narrative that mm -hmm. goes on. That's playing between our ears, mm. and people listen to that narrative. It's the narrative that somebody placed in there. It could be a dad who placed. Could be a uh, could be a spouse. Mm. Could be a grandfather, an uncle, whoever it is that placed it. And I tell people, let's get rid of that narrative. You'll never amount to anything. You never. You're not this. Mm -hmm. You're not that. People okay. listen to that's junk. Right. And we have to make a decision. That junk is going away. That man's junk was what he was reciting to, to Christ. Yeah, but, but how do we get rid of it? I still battle it. I've come a long way, but that's what people need to understand too, is, is it takes time. It takes a lifetime. Yeah. Jesus is healing us throughout this lifetime until we go to heaven. I, and mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's the yeah. misnomer. That's the misnomer, also, or just mm -hmm. the the p thing that people are like. Well, it, but it doesn't happen fast enough. Well, but it's not gonna happen fast. Right. We have to undo a right. lot of programming. And I just this morning on the way here was thinking, like, man, I'm so. I just get in my own head, and I have these thoughts of I'm not worthy, and then I have a fear of success. Uh -huh. I mean, I've identified. Uh -huh. So we all have fears. And then I have to think, you know, in Bi in the Bible it says we were not given a spirit of fear, yeah, but we of were power, power and love, love and a, a sound, sound mind. mind. Yes. So we have okay. So that brings me to like, yes, you're so right. We have to get out of that crappy narrative. We have to stay in truth. That's where that's where I think we miss doing the work. That's the work we got to do. Yes. We got to renew our mind. Romans twelve one and one through two. Yes. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, mm -hmm. to offer your body as a living sacrifice, for that is your true and proper worship. Do not be, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be, but be re transformed by the renewing <laughs> of your mind, oh. for then you may know God's will, Amen. his good pleasing and perfect will. will of God. So we have to get in God's will, yes. which is what you're saying. Yes. Meet with your maker, talk to him. Yes. Do you want the, do you have the desire to be yes. whole, to heal, yes. to be well, yes. to do something amazing with your life? Because yes. he plans to do something amazing with your life, yes. not to stay downtrodden, yes. not to be under yes. the weight of all the things yes. that have happened to you. Yes. You know, God forbid all the awful things yes. that are done to people. Yes. You know what I mean? There's yes. so much abuse. Like, and that's what you're saying, Sean, you look yeah. around and you're like, how do I make sense of how could God let these things happen this child trafficking this you know that is a horrible thing there's so mm -hmm. many mm -hmm. horrid horrific mm -hmm. things being done mm -hmm. to humanity being mm -hmm. done to mm -hmm. precious mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. you know to me childhood obesity is super sad um, mm -hmm. it just that makes me sad I can get super down but there's so much hope it's but then it's like 
this is the message. All right. Mm-hmm. We didn't get given a spirit of fear. Do the work. <laughs> so, so also too, I want to give also uh, a, a chance to to say that how how many resources do we have? We have so many resources in America mm-hmm. um, that that are we actually utilizing the resources that we need in order to make things better? You know, or are we diluting the stuff that we're seeing or that we have here in America to make those resources? Um, not be used in the right way. So, for instance, mm-hmm. like I saw this other this thing on TikTok, mm-hmm. and I saw mm-hmm. where they use a Cheetos, Cheetos or mm-hmm. not Cheetos, uh, Doritos, mm-hmm. and no 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 bags about Doritos. <laughs> just saying that right now. I just love bags giving that. Doritos. Right. Okay, Sometimes. so mm-hmm. this Moderation. is what I saw mm-hmm. on Doritos. So this is the thing about Doritos is that they actually put it in a a furnace area and. They let, like, if you were out in the wilderness and Mm -hmm. they just put Mm -hmm. a bag of Doritos and they just put the Doritos on the ground and Mm -hmm. they lit it up Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it it Mm -hmm. flamed up Mm -hmm. just like, you know, like regular, like if it was wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all that told me was like, man, I'm I'm consuming the Doritos. Is it good or bad for me? One, um, what's in them now? Mm-hmm. You know, to make them flame the way they were flaming, mm-hmm. because it's to me it's like is food supposed to do that, you know? And this I know this you probably be able to talk about that maybe, but I was just thinking like man, or am I looking at it like camera tricks? Is this camera tricks? Uh, because I don't know if it's real or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so it, all that to say this is that I want to be able to get to back to the point to where we're being kind of organic with things, like. Let's go back to the roots, seeds, um, putting things in our in our bodies that are healthy enough to be able to nurture our bodies, whether mm-hmm. if it's fruits, vegetables, such. Mm-hmm. But also there are times where we do need medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So s- certain proper medicines that mm-hmm. like for me, mm-hmm. medicines and, and you deal with medicines mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Tylenol won't work for me, but mm-hmm. Buffering does, you know, certain things, mm-hmm. certain medicines in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how are we able to kind of put, okay, we, we're putting faith into a lot of things that we do into the world mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to where we see seeing these things. And I know I'm going all over the place in this mess, mm-hmm. but there's, I am, I'm landing at home here. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to get to the point to where there's, or there's an organic place to where we can be able to utilize our, the, the mm-hmm. seeds of the world of what we're, what mm-hmm. we're seeing mm-hmm. and what we're eating and, mm-hmm. and pro- that's what we're producing into the world. Mm-hmm. But also have a place for medicine as well, right, right. to where they are being mm-hmm. uh, utilized in our bodies mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. be able to keep us healthy. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe you guys can speak on that as far as like health wise mm-hmm. and medicines, because mm-hmm. uh, doctor, you deal uh, with uh, your rehab right, and place, pain. and so mm-hmm. I wanted to be able to speak on that, see what sure. you think about medicines mm-hmm. and how we are utilizing them, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and That's then. Cool. The organic place where we we think that we're mm-hmm. what are we putting in our bodies? Healthy habits. Healthy habits. There mm-hmm. we go. Mm-hmm. Are you able to speak about oh, those? Of course, things? of course, okay, of course. No, I, the I know Bi- it's a little out. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> we love you, buddy. The Bible says the earth and the fullness okay. is of the Lord. Let's make that clear. And okay. I and I try to make medicines do not do not come from outer space. Right. They're made from from uh, things that are organic. Okay. Uh, the chemicals, uh, they used to make medications from bark, tr- tree roots, roots. So these are things that are not made by a person, but by God himself. And God gives us the intelligence and the wisdom, somebody, to make them edible, to, to, so that they can uh, dilute them and make them, uh, process them, and they can... They can heal, say, blood pressure, high blood pressure, right. or cholesterol. They are they are natural elements. So let's make that clear. They're natural elements. They, they, they yes, they're made in effort, but they are they're processed, but they're natural elements from 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 Earth. Okay. And they were made by God. So God, everything goes back to the Creator. Right. Mm-hmm. So they made that Creator. And uh, true medicine actually believes that uh, we have a responsibility to live. Holistically and responsibly. Uh-oh. So that goes back to uh. to uh, not only to a diet that is wholesome, a diet that involves consumption of 
of of things that are true and have true nutritional value mm. versus uh, drinking Coca Cola and God forgive me, I hope I don't uh, get in trouble. Uh, uh, or drinking <laughs> sodas that uh, can pretty much no that is that is something that's really off the charts. It's not healthy. Mm -hmm. So no true medical. Uh, branch or a practice would advocate for uh, eating uh, things like that, right. things that are considered not nutritious. Right. And uh, of course, exercise. And, oh, that's actually true medicine. Yeah, wholesome eating, exercise, and uh, uh, practicing a, a, a wholesome um, way of living. Okay. Yep. And we can go deeper into that, right. but, but medications as to be, it's, it's when people resort to medications and hope medications are going to heal a, a lifestyle that's not built on healthy living. Oh. Mm, right. Okay. That's where mistakes come in. Okay. Yeah. Where, I, 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 where I say, well, I don't have to eat my greens and vegetables and f I don't have to do that because I have a pill. Right. Right. That's, okay. where I, that's where I was trying to get to. And God talks about substitution for the real thing with something that's false. He talks about it in the book of Leviticus. He says, do not, do not try to bring into my temple things that are subs make substitutes for the things that I intended things to be. Mm -hmm. God does not like those substitutes. And he, he so that's what, so he well, I don't have to do that. Every, see, humanity is interesting. <laughs> so let me share with you something. God made things pure. The devil, the enemy, tries to make things impure. He tries to twist things. There's nothing wrong with sex. It was made by God. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. There is nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Did you know that? Holla. Mm -hmm. That's There's nothing. That's right. However, the enemy tries to pervert it. Pervert it, yep. There's nothing wrong with food. But the enemy thinks, well, since people need to eat, I'll have it perverted. There's nothing wrong with money, but the love of money is what, the love of it, okay. but there's nothing wrong with it. Because it's, what is money? It's just a piece of paper. It's a tool. It's a tool. Yeah, it's an economic exchange. So these things are perverted to mm -hmm. fulfill a purpose that God did not intend. Right. Mm, that's so good. So that's the thing with, with Medicaid. So we have a lot of people that say, well, I don't have to to eat all these all this junk i don't have to exercise mm -hmm. i don't have to do anything because there's a pill to take care of it right and then you start taking these pills and medications and you start you end up taking 50 60 pills because you simply if you well if you stopped eating what you're eating and start exercising you will probably won't need them but you're using them now to f to to go make up for the deficiencies that you have created in your life. Let's talk about the, the book for Faith House. Let's see. I love that we serve a big God and Dr. Edwards is awesome. He's a big dreamer and a big thinker. <laughs> and so in our powwows with the four of us, we'll get on Zoom and we'll talk for a couple hours usually because we're just on a roll and we just love, um, love to chat about how we can get the message out to the world, you know. Um, the faith house message and uh so dr edwards was like well let's put something in print you know and so just through talking and organic with uh he said let's write a children's book and we were like "Ooh, that'd be great so yeah. um it kind of went from that mm -hmm. and there's a couple of characters that were brought about from our imaginations but also they kind of come from you know and just our who uh, well, lucy yeah. and john mm -hmm. you know are placed in a middle school and it kind of um is there's a little bit of the setting that's reminiscent of my life. Some of the things that have come from, you know, me and even my um, experience as a wife. Uh, so, but John and Lucy are middle schoolers and they just happen to be put together in a very uh, unusual circumstance and they have a conversation and spend some time together and they come from two different, you know, sides of town, two different, you know, socioeconomic <laughs> situations and, but God uses you know these two people and their relationship and their encounter to change them and it's just a really cool story and we want to include some really awesome uh, visual 
art to go with the book. Yeah. So it's going to be a pretty quick read, Animation. but it's, it's going to be moving. We want to move the heart and we want to just draw some some lines and some bridges that connect Amen. all different kinds of people. Like Amen. that's what God does. Come as you are, connect authentically, grow spiritually, move forward. Move Amen. forward, moving forward. Amen.